the man who has had the golden touch at Hilton Head High for, gosh, how many years has it been now that you've been athletic director there? 12, almost 13. Almost 13. Yeah. And the hair is not gray. Yeah, That's incredible. Gray. It's, it's, it's getting thin. It's, it's getting starting thin. to get a little thinner, though. <laughs> Joe Bonmanier joining us uh, to talk about Hilton Head High sports as we head in through the winter and then into the spring. Uh, great basketball season a couple of seasons ago. Obviously, you don't get to keep those guys. They graduate, they, they go, graduate, they, they, they go they on leave. and do big, bigger and better <laughs> yeah. things. That's, yeah. that's our goal is for them to go on and be productive citizens. But yes, we, we would love to have kept them uh, three or four more years uh, for basketball. <laughs> basketball team, though, is uh, energetic and exciting? Energetic, young group of guys. We have some decent seniors this year. We're, uh, we're scrappers. Um, you know, we, we were in Carlton on Friday. We were down by 20 in the third quarter. We ended up winning by, by a point. So I'm uh, real excited about the team. We can go either way. We, we are just playing good basketball. Okay, and maybe a good run coming yeah. uh, come playoff time. Uh, the rest of the winter sports, how are we doing? Wrestling Goals, has always been wrestling big. Wrestling's uh, doing well. They've been in a couple of tournaments. They're, they're going to have a couple of home meets here, uh, region meets, which are obviously very important, and then uh, which will determine where we go to the playoffs team-wise. And then yeah. we'll, we should have one or two individuals that go on to uh, the state Great. The individual state final, so we're excited about that. Uh, girls basketball is yeah. is running. Uh, we have Linda Young, we have uh, Janiah Faraby. We have a good group of girls, hard defensive players and and, and finishers, and and they're they're again they're ready to start region play, and we'll figure out uh, what we're made of in the next couple of weeks. All right, there are so many sports in this time of the year, and then into the spring. That were never around when I played. Uh, what, what do you got coming up in the spring? So right now we have the, the slew of sports. It's our busiest season. We have girls and boys soccer, track, baseball, softball, boys and girls lacrosse, uh, boys tennis, and boys golf. So wow. all that's going on. And we just started a preseason period. There's what they call the open season right before the season starts. So it's kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. But a lot of those sports are starting now and they're getting out on the field and they're able to do uh, sport specific skills. Uh, with their teams. So. Any thoughts, hints uh, as to what we might see this spring? Uh, well, what looks strongest? I mean, the boys' golf team could yeah. could very well shape up to be a contender. Our boys' tennis team again um, if could shape up to be a contender. I always, you can never count out girls' soccer. Right. No matter where they finish in the region, <laughs> they always seem to be playing in the lower state final. Um, I feel good about baseball again this season. We've kind of got some players together. Boys' lacrosse, girls' lacrosse looks great. They're returning a bunch of girls. Um, so really every team this spring, the track is solid in their own right. Um, it, it should be a very good, good spring. All right, all of that needs support. Uh, yes. Support from more than just the parents, right. uh, but but fans, uh, supporters of Hilton Head Eye in general, and, and folks on the island. You've got something coming up that could be a lot of fun. Yes, year. February 18th, we're having our annual oyster rows from four to eight at, um, it's gonna be at Fish in Caligny Plaza this okay. year. We had it there a few years ago. We usually had it at Hudson's, but now we're gonna kind of switch the venue just to change it up. Sure. All you can eat, May River oysters, oh. barbecue, Oh. Um, all kinds of desserts, fixings, things like that. And we're excited to have it there. It's $55 a ticket. We will also have um, our silent auction, which we have these wonderful baskets that our teams put together, and usually a theme, uh, a fishing theme or, or a breakfast theme, things yeah. like that. Um, so it's really, really good event. And it's, it's a night out. I mean, you're going mm -hmm. to go spend that money somewhere anyway on a, on a Saturday night, why as well. I enjoy your time with your friends and, and family and also uh, for a great cause. That, that is a great cause. We got just a few seconds left. Uh, let's say something great. Puna's going to the playoffs. Puna's going to the playoffs. <laughs> Jalen, Jalen made a couple tackles yeah. uh, for Notre Dame. Yeah, so we're excited. Chris Marable's headed off to Wake Forest for as, of, as mm -hmm. we speak. And yeah, I mean, we have some really good athletes going on to the next level. That's fantastic. Again, congratulations Thank on you. past success. Yeah, yeah. Good luck as, as you head into the 4A spring. Yeah, uh, Joe Monmanier, the uh, athletic director at Hilton Head High. We'll be back with more of the WHHI Daily News right after this.